Welcome to Law Talk Today, a series devoted to bringing you informative and educational programs focused on issues of law, government, and community. Good evening and welcome to Log Talk Today. My name is Mark Gruber. This show is on public access every Wednesday evening from 7.30 to 8. It airs on uh, Cablevision Channel 21 or SEC TV in Sussex County on Channel 10. Each week we talk about different areas of the law and we speak with and interview people in the know. On tonight's show we'll be talking about employment law. If you're fired from your job, do you have any recourse? If you're not hired because of race, color, creed, or other civil rights violations, especially in this economy, uh, if you're just simply fired, what can you do? We'll be talking about those topics and others, and we have two uh, attorneys from Marstown. We have, uh, and I want to welcome to the show, Bill Coy Sr. and Bill Coy Jr. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Mark. Father-son team, a very unusual combination of employment lawyers. Welcome, welcome. Um, Bill Sr., I got to start off by <laughs> asking you, this is your second career. That's correct, and, Mark. And I'm, uh, how'd you, how did, what were you before and why you, are you doing this now? Mark, I'm <clears throat> typically known as a retread in the field. <laughs> uh, I began in anything but the law. Uh, way, way back in the 60s, I was a biology teacher and a basketball coach, followed by a uh, college adjunct professor, went into school administration as a science mathematics supervisor. Within two weeks, since I knew just a trifle about math, the superintendent said, hey Bill, we're in a volatile negotiations with the teachers. Give me some suggestions on the salary guide. The following Saturday, Mark, believe it or not, I was leading negotiations representing the West Milford Township School District. Shortly thereafter, became assistant superintendent of schools and superintendent of schools. And to answer specifically your question, one day I said to the board members, three of them who were attorneys at that time, why don't you guys send me to law school? They said, get in one and we will. I did, they did. They paid for it. Appropriately. Well, what a good negotiator you are. Mark, the school <laughs> district was wonderful to me. I have nothing uh, bad Great. to say, in fact, when I retired at my graduation from law school, they gave me an opportunity to be their board attorney for four years. Well, and what a wonderful thing. And that's how you start in employment law. That, right? Well, basically through the negotiations process, but one, one more key point. Uh, I had a mentor, an old time attorney who was actually called Mr. West Milford, Lewis Wallace. And Lewis was up there in age and uh, the board made me legal liaison. And I would spend a lot of time with Mr. Wallace, and he taught me a lot of things about the law and got me interested. And he gave me that urge and said, why don't you do it? And there I am, after four years part-time at Pace University School of Law in White Plains, standing at a mandatory graduation with my family saying, what am I doing here? If I don't pass the bar, this is like four years of Ferris Bueller in reverse. <laughs> and as you know, you take the bar in July, yep. you get a one-liner in December, Mark, I never called for my score thinking they made a mistake. 20 years later, I'm here with you. There you go. And uh, let me ask Bill Jr., what's it like working <laughs> with well, this guy? <clears throat> I've been working with him for uh, 37 years now. So uh, I was uh, essentially trained while growing up uh, negotiations. Mm -hmm. uh, they're just different now. Now we negotiate uh, employment contracts, severance agreements. Uh, back 20-something years ago, I was negotiating curfews and uh, uh, <laughs> what, where I could go and what time I can get back. So yeah, My son used to negotiate what he would, would we make him eat and not eat on his dinner plate. And, Same sort of deal. And, and now I have three children of my own, Tyler, Sidney, and Brody, and we negotiate uh, <laughs> uh, things such as uh, video game time and uh, fighting. So it's a big circle of negotiating. And uh, really, it all started back when my dad went to law school. Um, after the super, and I, no, who wouldn't want to live with a superintendent when you're a teenager? I mean, it's a dream. 
uh, essentially you're living with a school beacon. So uh, yeah, yeah. I essentially was under the rule of thumb of the educator. educator. Uh, and then as he went to law school, uh, I was a teenager, and uh, I really uh, was intrigued by some of the things I would see him do and uh, talk about. Uh, and uh, to make a long story short, uh, I, I went to work with him part-time in the summers. Uh, saw that uh, what he did uh, was, I thought, very interesting. Um, it's not your typical law firm. We do a lot of negotiating. We shoot from the hip. Um, it's not stuffy. And I really liked his style, um, except against me, of course. But uh, <laughs> his style and uh, the way he uh, negotiated cases and dealt with people, really, uh, I, I was interested in. And then when I went to law school, and came out. Uh, I clerked for a year in Passaic County uh, in the family division. And uh, when I got out, we had an opportunity to, to work together and we just clicked. We're a good team, I think, and uh, enjoyed it. It's a real specialty. Let's talk about the, the law uh, and employment. There's a whole body of law out there, uh, all different types. And there's, uh, I guess, let's start with the labor laws, uh, the NLRA, National Labor Relations Act. We're not going to be talking about that tonight because that, that's going to be a whole other show. But that's unions. Right and uh, you know and collective bargaining and, and those things, we're not going to focus on that tonight. But let's talk about some of the laws that we have now. For example, we have OSHA. Who wants to tell me just give a one-liner on what OSHA? Mark is. OSHA is public law safety, uh, very prevalent in uh, school districts, building safety, uh, factories, businesses, things like that, and and they mandate such a very stringent requirement of uh, certification, which is really good. It protects everybody. So the body of law dealing with that could be voluminous at times. Occupational Safety and Health Act is what it stands for. Bill Jr., Workers' Comp. Uh, workers' Comp is when someone's injured at the workplace. Uh, they need to be compensated and uh, as such, it's a very specialized field uh, that uh, uh, attorneys help them uh, essentially recover against the employer to make sure they're paid and taken care of when it's, they're injured. It's, a, it's sort of a, uh, an offshoot of employment law. It has to do with injuries in the workplace, not necessarily the employment itself, right? Yeah, it's almost a hybrid of personal injury and yeah. employment law, yeah, so yeah. to speak. Social Security. Let's go back Social to your Security, opinion. something close to my heart as I uh, <laughs> keep on the aging process. Uh, the disability, federal right? disability law, things of that nature. And uh, what these laws have a tendency to do, Mark, is protect people's normal rights. Everybody has the free opportunity to go to work and enjoy that experience. And when you enjoy that experience, you should go in a safe environment, a, a, a harassment-free environment, things of this nature. So these laws are set to permit the worker to thrive in a positive environment, which isn't always so. And that's the majority of our practice when it isn't always so. Right, and we're going to get into that in just a moment. The Civil Rights Act, okay? How does that impact employment? Wonderful situation for us. If your rights are breached, if your employer, uh, and, and we do a lot of civil rights representing police officers, it's called Section 1983. Uh, when their rights are breached, Mark, uh, we have a tendency to uh, right away go in and have a conference. Most things are resolved, but if not, we have to file a complaint as a breach of civil rights. Civil rights being religion, national origin, sex, right? That's correct. Uh, I guess sexual orientation. That's nowadays. correct. Civil rights are also now covered mostly by the New Jersey Law Against Discrimination, which uh, in a sense uh, covers everybody, under, and it's called a protected class. So all those that you just mentioned are people in a protected class, and therefore they have special rights in that if they are, um, have an act of hostility against them, if they're discriminated against, they have special protections, which we make sure are, are afforded. Because as you know, New Jersey's an at-will state. At-will means you can be fired for any reason, but you can't breach someone's civil rights. Okay, and that's civil rights. What, what about the concept of just cause? Just Does that enter into your practice? Uh, at times, yes, because when contracts are negotiated and one is terminated for, in quotes, just cause, the employer thinks they have the upper hand. But as Bill indicated to you earlier, you can follow contract protocol and basic protocol, but you can't breach the individual's protected rights. So if you're in a protected class, being a female, an older female, one with a disability. In fact, one of the uh, protected classes uh, of origin recently is obesity, actually. So if one is overweight and you can prove that, there are certain 